So, what do you say? Is it, uh, would you advise, uh, okay, you have the three daughters who are already, I believe they are in the practice, but would you now advise uh, your nieces or your nephews to follow the path, register with the EBK as graduate engineers? What do you engineer die? Yeah, maybe um, I'll maybe I'll uh, I'll uh, I'll answer that one the way I'm understanding it. Now, uh, I I was registered in 1996. At that time, it was not strict that you register first as a graduate engineer, then you go for the professional interview. Yes. So, uh, going by that and the way I've gone through, I've, I feel it's not necessary. My personal view. Uh, I talked to some young engineers and they are being asked to register for all as graduate engineers for some time, pay, I think, annual subscription. But I wonder what uh, value it adds to, I mean, what, EB, what uh, EBK, uh, the value EBK adds to the graduate engineers. Uh, because uh, they are not, first of all, they, they are not providing the attachments, they are not providing them proper places for, uh, I mean, they, to learn the practice, because it's, it's more of like a personal uh, effort. So I was thinking that it's a bit of a burden where to, to force graduates to pay for, to be a condition that for three years you are working, you are a graduate engineer. But registration, to me, I think is important. But again, we need to show these people why, what do you do after registration? Because I saw, I, yeah, IEK have uh, put a target of registering 20,000 engineers. Yes. But then uh, what happens is, do, uh, what are they, these 20,000 engineers supposed to do? Now, this has been a failure of, uh, I would say, IEK and EBK. First of all, they've restricted engineering to graduate engineers alone. 